What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the Horror Show. I'm Cecil Laird. I'm Brittany Lee. I'm Ian Fuego here. I'm Arch Parker. Derek Karen. I'm Andrew Mercer. And we're here for another trailer reaction, Pete's another larger group. What, do you like the bigger groups? Do you like them smaller? Well, doesn't matter. You don't have a choice today because we're doing <laughs> After Darkness, which, if I recall correctly, is something vampiric-esque and uh, kind of... I don't want to say post-apocalyptic. I did I think remember. it was post-apocalyptic sure. that, because think, it's the but... sun has gone out or yeah. something. Well, I think so. Yeah. That's... Oh, perfect. I know. Yeah. Totally. Interesting. Cute. <laughs> called after darkness, Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> Read between the lines. But wait, if it's after the darkness, then wouldn't that mean that? I know the... it should mean the light is out. Yeah. I mean, I mean the sun should yeah, have emerged. So the, the titler after dark. Oh. Perhaps got things wrong. We shall see. Maybe after they took the world back. I don't know. Let's just watch it. Maybe it's just after darkness takes over. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, after, yeah, there is darkness. Maybe there's after there's darkness. Dark. Somebody oh. found a flashlight. I've heard once you go dark, you never go light. <laughs> Jeez, all right. <laughs> well, three, two, one, after darkness, go. NASA has released new images of our sun, See. and the irregular solar activity has seems to have intensified. Is this a video game? Governments across the world now yeah. admitting that global temperatures rapidly it's decreasing and unrest rapidly increasing. Uh, These solar nice. collapses are literally shutting down our sun. Feels good to be back home again, doesn't it? Together again. Oh, wing. This is gonna start getting cold. We have plenty of warmth. Ooh, curious. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh. Yeah. yeah. Mrs. Bacon. Dad <laughs> said they're coming to get us, and they're going to take us to the caves where it's safe and warm. You promised me we'd be safe. There's other people they have to pick up first. We have she to wait. Familiar too. We are just waiting for death. She's the following. She's the babysitter. Oh, the sister from Street. I see. Are you mad at me? When are they coming for us? They'll come for us. When they come for us. That's a better trailer than I thought it was yeah. going to be, actually. I mean, Despite not being about vampires. <laughs> I was just wondering well, about you that. don't know, though, because they said everybody is weird, but... And they showed that one corpse that looked kind of offy. Maybe that had, had like, the lot. streaks right by the corners of the mouth, yeah. So you don't know, really. I don't know. But I'm intrigued. But it's more I gotta like a say, family drama. Yeah, family drama, family post-apocalyptic drama, like a, a lower key mm -hmm. sort of thing. Um, kind of I dig that. Oh, it's good actors. Feel. Yeah, great actors, actually. <laughs> I'm honestly like, trying to remember that. A little bit of a... Uh, like uh, flowers in the attic kind of feel too. Okay. Oh, I, like, I haven't seen yeah, that in yeah. forever. Too. I was actually going to see the say the Lars von Trier film. I think it's called Melancholia. It was another film about the, the sun, end of the world. Right? The sun was basically yeah. going out. Uh, and Kirsten, Dunst. Kirsten Dunst. Kirsten Dunst. I haven't everybody actually seen that. That's a movie. It looked really depressing, it's so a, I could never get around to watching it's it. It's a tearjerker. Well, you she's go in it. Cry in the dark. Depressing. Even seeking a friend at the end of the world, I found mm -hmm. super depressing. Like the end of the world movies are rough for me. I don't know. And I'm too. I'm too. Uh, oh man, yeah. I'm too. I'm I too sensitive to that. I don't know why he's killing all the dogs. Are they eating the dogs? Yeah, yeah they, they are. Be. I don't know. Uh, it would be them. easy. We have a kill dog. Them. We're gonna eat here. So, uh, so yeah, my overall thoughts. I thought it was interesting. Obviously, I like the acting. Um, I'm intrigued by. Even though it's just a family drama, which normally doesn't do enough for me, it was presented in a in an interesting way. Um, even though I worry that I might lose interest perhaps halfway through. However, I think the actual setting of the end mm -hmm. of the world will keep me in through the rest of the way, whereas I would fall off of a normal drama that's set up this way. Hopefully not too slow burn, right? <laughs> Hopefully not. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I think the dad, um, the guy who plays in Wings... Um, Wings. <laughs> who was he in Wings? He was the one of the main characters, okay. the main brother. Gotcha. Pilot, one of the pilots. Not Wings, not the guy that uh, played the comic. dude from uh, the that's on uh, I Zombie. Okay. And not Thomas Hayden Church is that his name? The guy who was. Yeah. Is he in Wings too? Yeah, he was yeah. in Wings. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. He's in Sideways um, too. Yeah. Anyways, I feel like his character is enough to like drive this movie because he totally gives me that whole shining aspect of Big where time. he's like totally out of control and ready to like. Flip a switch on everybody, so. Mm -hmm. Serious dark turn. Switch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. I, I'm interested. As long as there's a lot of, like, you know, gruesome deaths and stuff, I think I should be okay. With <laughs> should it. be okay. <laughs> Britt, your overall thoughts? I, yeah, I'm interested in seeing it. I, I like the 
what did I compare it to when I first started here? Flowers in the Attic? Is that what you said? Flowers, right. yeah. That Flowers in the Attic thing, I was like, I'm like, that's kind of weird. The, the family aspect, the way they're like, everybody needs to stay in here, and they're like... Family with a secret. Yeah, kind like of family with a secret kind of thing. Mm -hmm. That's what it was. That mm -hmm. made me think Flowers in the Attic. And then the whole apocalyptic after, after you know, society dies kind of thing, and they're still trying to keep it together. And then, you know, there has to be somebody doing the dirty work. And that's what I think is going to keep it moving. That's what's going to keep me interested, is that one person who's outside... Of the trying to keep it normal. Okay. Cool. Uh, Andrew. Uh, <clears throat> I kind of I like the the premise, the idea. It's cool, but I feel like there is no scientific presence whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> we saw footage like, from NASA. <laughs> like just the fact that they're not worried about food. Like the sun goes out. How True. Are we, what, there's no food. What are we doing? So I don't know. There, there's Oxygen. the caves. The caves. Oh, yeah, the, the caves. Bro. The caves was a thing, so I don't know. Maybe they got it all figured out in the caves, but um, as soon as it, we got to the end of it, I was just kind of like, wait a minute, mm -hmm. hold on a sec. Like I said, it seems like a cool idea, but uh, I don't know. Maybe the actors should Who be needs science? I know. I always <laughs> look for logic and reason. What am I doing? A lot oh, of people might science. not think this looks very horror either, and maybe based on this trailer, it doesn't seem that way, but it could take a horror turn. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like... If there are vampires or something, Creature, they something, did a really good job yeah. of hiding it. So, yeah. as long as they're like not zombies, cutting up meat or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Like cannibals. Yeah, they yeah might cutting be up other uh, foods. Uh, maybe up. that's what they're eating, Mercer. I didn't <laughs> see that. I'm sorry. I don't know. Be, what yeah, else yeah. you can eat? I they got survivors coming <laughs> onto their property, and they're just like. <laughs> All right, yeah. hey. Or, or they're finding like frozen yeah, bodies dogs. and they're taking them in and chopping them up. Oof. <laughs> you know, everybody's got to survive somehow, right? It, it just you guys, you guys know that that's the original definition of zombie, right? Is is live humans eating other dead humans? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Kill or be killed. Huh? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. But I just thought the the trailer was pretty good. Like it built up a lot of tension. Mm -hmm. You see, at some point, like people are starting to worry about maybe his sanity, the father's sanity, mm -hmm. and everything. And uh, yeah, I don't know. It seems. <laughs> Yeah, pretty I, good. I can't get over the actors and actresses yeah. in this. It's just <laughs> such a low casted crew. Like it, it can't be anything yeah. but good. Yep. Very eclectic. Yeah. All right. Well, there Thanks. you go, guys. That's what we thought of After Darkness. Let us know in the comments down below if you're interested in this one or not. And uh, if so, why? We'd love to know. Thanks for watching. I've been Cecil Laird. I'm Brittany Lee. Gracias. I'm Ian Fuego. I'm Archberger. Derek Heron. And I'm Andrew Presser. And remember, stay, stay scared. scared.